Hey guys, Sergeant Mario 101 here. Welcome back to more of The Legend of Zelda. In the last episode, we took down level 5, the Lizard, and we got the Flute, as well as the Power Bracelet, and the White Sword, well, before we went there. And in this episode, we're gonna take down level 6, the Dragon. If you're wondering why I'm not standing outside the last dungeon, it's because I was teleporting around with the Flute, as you saw at the end of the last episode, and the reason why we're going this way is because we're gonna take a little shortcut to level 6, right here that we can use thanks to our power bracelets. And I'm going to collect those rubies because we're going to need them. Take any road you want! I'm going to take this one. Oh boy, lentils. Just avoid them. And right over here. Take care of these lentils. I think I can actually kill the PS now. I have to wait for them to... Yep. Gotta wait for them to land. Anyway, level six, the dragon. Just gonna let you know ahead of time, you better have some keys from the other dungeons, otherwise you're gonna struggle at the beginning part. And I'm just gonna let you know right now, I am not excited for this dungeon because of the new enemy that appears in it. And it's none other than with his robes! These things are annoying. They'll teleport around and just shoot beams at you and they take away an entire heart with the current tunic you have on. <laughs> AIM AT THE EYES OF GOMA! Alright, thank you, old man. Yeah, whiz robes. They are basically... They are the most annoying enemy in the entire game and they are everywhere in this dungeon. But other than that, this dungeon isn't too terrible. It's pretty straightforward. It's just the whiz robes that make it an absolute nightmare. But thankfully, we have the magical shield so we can deflect those beams. Usually, they'll teleport where you're at, but there's also blue whiz robes that walk around. They don't take any recoil damage with your sword. So, those are the ones you really want to watch out for. And there's also a lot of rooms in this dungeon where they're accompanied with like likes which are gonna try and take your sword away so yeah you better get out of them quickly fortunately we have the magical sword so we can likely uh, kill those things with ease I'm trying to avoid getting hit because I want to keep my beam sword jeez uh, oh boy There they are. Oh crap. Oh, so much for that. Alright. And I think up here is... Oh, no, not yet. Oh crud. See what I see what I mean? Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. And hey, it's this guy again. Fun. Oh man. Yep, I'm gonna be using that potion, no doubt about it. Oh crap! Don't get caught in those things. Those sparky things, I swear to god, they have like... They are attracted to you like a magnet or something in this dungeon because I cannot get them off me! Kill the red ones first since they're pretty easy to kill. Ugh. All right, push this, come on. Ugh. 
Darn it. This is the magical wand. It's arguably an upgrade to the arrows. I say arguably because I don't think it's as strong as it actually. But yeah, there you go. That's the actually I want to go back up there because I know one of those walls you can blow up. And boom. gonna go in that door. I'm gonna blow up this. There are secrets where fairies don't live! Alright. Oh boy. Ah! Why was I looking that way? I gotta use this now. Oh boy. Trying to... Trying to get him from a distance! Yeah, this is what fighting these things is like. out of the way. Let us proceed. Uh. No! Crud. Need as many hearts as possible. This is really the hardest part of the dungeon, honestly. And these things we can actually kill with these now because of the magical sword. <sighs> I could use some more of that. Uh, I don't think arrows work on these guys, but maybe I could try bombs. Okay, that works. Sorry if I'm being quiet, I'm just really trying to kill all these guys so I can focus. Darn it. Just run! Oh boy, I can hear the boss. I don't know why I'm bothering killing all the enemies, because the door's already open. See what I mean? These things have, like, freaking magnets to them. Things to get out of the way. 
All right, now there's two paths here. Only take the down path if you have no resources. But actually, actually, never mind. Scratch that. Don't even go down there because there's whiz ropes. And yeah, I'm done fighting those things. I just want to kill the boss. Goma. Wait for it to open its eye. And yep, one hit. That's it. That's all it took. That's all she wrote. Well, that could have been a lot worse. But you know what? This is just the beginning because that was the dragon. And next up after that is the demon. Which we will be taking care of in the next episode. See you guys then.